and muggy one out there. We have those dew points in the mid 70s. Temperatures are in the 80s, so a little bit uncomfortable. 86 degrees in Giddings, 84 in Cameron. We're sitting at 84 degrees in Bryan College Station. The southeasterly winds continuing to pull in that moisture here, making it a little bit sticky out there. Temperature still in the 90s in Laredo, 92 degrees. Some rain cool there up in Lubbock, 73 degrees there. Some isolated showers and storms across parts of the panhandle starting to fizzle out a little bit. And we have this little low pressure system just to the south of the Brazos Valley. This generated showers and storms throughout the day for parts of the area, especially across southeastern Texas. Some areas saw between four to five inches of rain. Now Houston picked up about eight tenths of an inch of rain. We saw a few sprinkles around parts of the Brazos Valley, but as you can see, as you get toward the Galveston area, saw between two to three inches there and just south of Beaumont picked up four and a half inches of rain. Now as we head in the overnight hours, future radar shows that little low pressure system lifting toward the north. It's going to be rather weak, but as we head into the overnight hours early tomorrow morning, could be a little flare up of showers and storms with this low pressure system going to be just a really small area, but that's what the models are starting to hint at right now. So if that does happen, there could be a couple areas that pick up some brief heavy rainfall and with that low pressure system still just chilling out over the Brazos Valley tomorrow afternoon. We add in the daytime heating. There's going to be lift the moisture in place. Can't rule out one or two showers or storms tomorrow afternoon. Going to be isolated in nature, though most areas going to be dry. What we're focused on, though, is a tropical wave that's out over southeastern parts of the Gulf of Mexico. This has sustained winds 30 miles per hour, moving toward the west-northwest at about 20 miles per hour, so pretty quickly uh, starting to move toward the west-northwest. We're starting to see a little flare-up of convection uh, near the center of this tropical wave, and we're expecting it to continue to intensify and work its way toward the west-northwest. Models showing a general consensus toward the mid to upper Texas coast as we head toward the end of the week. And that's kind of what we're expecting that west northwest movement at about 20 miles per hour, expecting it to possibly develop as well has a 40% chance of development as it works toward the central parts of the Gulf of Mexico. Waters are pretty warm there in the wind shear. It's on the low side and that's not a good recipe because that means we could see some tropical development. Taking a look at the future radar wave over southeastern parts of the Gulf of Mexico right now going to continue to work toward the west northwest, expecting it to develop into a low pressure system as we head into tomorrow. You can kind of see that wraparound uh, feature with this system kind of indicating it's starting to get its act together. And then as we head into Thursday, this is when it could start to develop into a tropical depression, maybe a tropical storm. It'll still be a few hundred miles off of that Texas coast, but it's going to continue to wrap moisture into coastal parts of Texas as early as Thursday. And the notice as we head into Friday, it really starts to get more compact and you see some of those brighter colors on future radar indicating that it starts intensifying at this point. Wouldn't be surprised if we have a tropical storm spinning off of the coast of Texas as we head into Friday afternoon and kind of look at this. This is not what we want to see. It just chills out over the water heading into Friday evening. This could cause some flooding issues for coastal parts of Texas. We're going to have to continue to monitor this. It's also going to wrap in that Gulf moisture right into the Brazos Valley. Valley, increasing our rain chances, especially late Friday into Saturday. We go from a 60 to 80% chance for some showers and storms. Taking a look at how much wind rain we can expect, expecting a few inches of rain across the Brazos Valley. Tight gradient from north to south. Northern zone could see around an inch of rain, while that southern zone could pick up several inches, but it depends on that track and intensity. If this system were to shift 50 or 100 miles south, it would pull all that precipitation south of the Brazos Valley. If it shifts just a little bit north. Well, we could be talking about several inches of rain for the Brazos Valley, so continue to stay tuned. This is a fluid forecast, so it's going to change significantly over the next 24 to 48 hours. Rain chances over the next few days, better rain chances late Friday into Saturday and Sunday. That's going to